third order determinant so we will learn about third order determinant over here okay so please take the notes uh, whatever you see on your screen please copy it uh, in third order determinant we are having three rows and three columns over here so uh, copy this part over here and I'm explaining you by a different uh, method over here so this is my third order determinant a1 uh, then I have b1 this is my, these are my elements c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 so how you will solve uh, these third order determinant is what you should do is you will go ahead and copy uh, these first two columns over here so this means if I were copied again it will be a1 a2 a3 and this will be my b1 b2 and b3 after this what you do is uh, I will take a different color over here let me take this color over here what you do is you will take these three over here okay then you will take these three over here and you will take these three over here okay this is first why you will take first second and third all right or if in case uh, if in case it's not clear to you I will do by the another method for you hold on let me rewrite this part over here and then we go from there so I was having uh, let me take the same color over here blue color over here I was having a1 uh, b1 and c1 a2 b2 and c2 then I have a3 b3 and c3 what I did is I have copied these two columns again over here a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 okay now what I have to do is I have to align them because they are not aligned properly over here so it will be mine a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 you will do always this thing first okay then afterwards what you do is you draw one line over here this means you are taking these three number a1 b this and then you will draw a line over here this means I will be using these three uh, elements and then I will be using these three elements over here so my step will look like this well how my step will look like this my step will look like this uh, a1 times b2 times c3 so it will be a1 times b2 times c3 whatever are the numbers it will come over here then it's a plus sign over here then I will be having b1 times c2 times a3 if you look look over here this is your b1 then your c2 then is your a3 okay then you put a plus sign over here and the last ones are what c1 a2 b3 so this is your c1 parentheses a2 parentheses b3 now after this what you will do is I'm using a different color over here what you will do is you will start from this one from this c1 over here so you will draw one line like this okay another line will be going from a1 another one will be going from this so I will put a minus sign over here and my remainings will be like this I'm starting from this c1 b2 a3 so it will be your c1 times b2 times a3 then you put a plus sign again over here then you are having what a2 a1 c2 b3 so it will be yours a1 then it will be your c2 then it will be your b3 follow the green color plus then you have the third one b1 a2 c3 b1 a2 and c3 now when you will solve this you will end up with the answer over here and that will be the answer for this uh, determinant of order 3 over here now if you will look at this one which I have done for you see this is your a1 over here you can see a1 multiply by b2 c3 b2 c3 okay plus sign again I have uh, you know b, b3 c2 technically what is happening is I am using this part over here okay but the easiest part is uh, we will follow the strategy which I have shown over here now I will try to make it more clear to you by using the numbers in my problem so let's see the next problem so now let's look at this question over here now as you can see this is a determinant of order 3 okay so what I will do is first of all as I mentioned earlier you will copy the first row column and the second row column one more time you see 2 1 negative 1 
and I have second one 0 to negative 4 after this what I showed you earlier you will start from the first digit you will draw a line over here this means you are taking uh, diagonally over here uh, you are taking diagonally these elements so you see 2 2 times negative 2 times 2 plus 0 times 5 times negative 1 plus 3 times 1 times 4 so you can see over here as I mentioned earlier to you 2 times negative 2 times 2 plus 0 times 5 times negative 1 plus 3 times 1 times 4 plus so I have done with this one now what I will do second time I will start with the last digit over here and I will draw a line like this I will go uh, diagonally again over here so I have, now do keep in mind you will press put a minus sign on your own over here okay so 3 times negative 2 times negative 1 then we have 2 times 5 times 4 and then we have 0 times 1 times 2 so let's see over here it will look like this to you over here so as you can see 3 times negative 2 times negative 1 plus 2 times 5 times 4 plus 0 times 1 times 4, 2 now important things to keep in mind is you are having this in a separate bracket over here okay and you will put a minus sign on your own and there is a separate bracket over here so I will solve this 2 times negative 2 times 2 will give me what negative 8 then it's uh, 0 times 5 is 0 then it's your 0 I have 0 plus sign 3 times 1 is 3 times 4 is 12 I have this part over here now you see there's a minus sign over here I got my minus sign and uh, I have this so 3 times negative 2 is uh, and negative 1 is positive 6 there's a plus sign 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 4 is 40 then plus sign is a 0 so now do keep in mind after this I will I will simplify the inner in, interior part which will give me positive 4 and this will give me negative 46 over here 4 minus 6 minus 40 as I mentioned this to you when you do this it will be negative 46 then it's your answer is what 4 minus 6 negative 2 and it will give you negative 42 so that is your answer for this problem this is how we will solve determinants of order 3 all right let's start working on this problem what I mentioned earlier to you when you see this what you do is you copy the first row first column 3 5 7 and 4 2 negative 8 first column again over here now before I do anything what I will do is I'll write it like this this will be my first uh, uh, bracket over here and there is a minus sign and this will be my second bracket over here just to make my things easy on my, or easier on my part so I will not forget anything I will start from this so I will have this first uh, I will just go diagonally like this 3 times 2 times 2 so it is my 3 times 2 times 2 plus sign and I will go with the second one over here 4 times 1 times 7 4 times 1 times 7 then I will go with my third one over here 6 5 and 8 so it is my plus sign over here 6 times 5 times 8 over here so I'm done with this I will erase this part over here because kind of overlapping so it is only your 6 now after this what happens is I will change the color over here I'm checking this color I will start with the third one okay so I will go like this 1 6 times 2 times 7 so 6 times 2 times 7 plus sign then I will go with the next one 3 times 1 times 8 so 3 times 1 times 8 and then I go with the plus sign I'll go with 4 5 and 2 so it is your 4 5 and 2 and I'm done with this problem that's it so now after this what I will do is I will just simplify okay and then I will go ahead so this will be my this part over here minus sign and this will be my this part so to avoid any errors I'm doing like this so 3 times 2 is 6 6 times 2 is 12 plus sign 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 7 is what? 28. Plus sign, 6 times 5 is what? 40, 40 times 8, 4 times 8 is 32, so it is your 320 over here. I think I messed up somewhere, 30, no, 6 times 5 is 30, this should be yours, not 320, it should be 240. 46, yes, 240. Now it is your 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 7, so what is your 12 times 7 it is your 84 plus sign 3 times 1 is 3 it is what 24 plus 1040 
okay now after this i have to uh, look for uh, answer for this part and this and then i can solve it so this will give me 30 40 280 minus sign i have this part over here this gives me what uh, 88 98 108 108 and 40 140 yeah, just to be on the safer side for the right side part i will use the calculator to confirm that my answer is correct so i have 40 plus 24 plus 84 148 so yes we are right and after this what we have to do we have to subtract these 280 minus 148 132 this is the answer for this determinant of order 3 so this is the answer over here all right so now let's look at this problem over here again we are using the same approach i will take my first column and i will rewrite it over here and i will take my second column and i will rewrite it over here okay and how i will proceed is as i was doing earlier i will draw two brackets over here put the minus sign this becomes a lot more easier on our side when we are doing like this okay now let me take a different color so i will start from the first one i'm going diagonally two times seven times five so this is your two times seven times five and put the plus sign on your own then the second one is five times eight times seven so this is your five times eight times seven plus sign and the third one is what seven times three times four so seven times three times four minus sign let's go to the next one i'm picking a green color this time so you start from first and now i'll start from the last one seven diagonally seven times seven times seven so this is my seven times seven times seven seven plus sign then i will go the second one two times eight times four so two times eight times four plus sign and i'll go over here five times three times five so five times three times five now after this only thing left is what just some mathematical calculations and i am done with this problem two times seven fourteen times five is what seventy plus seven times now if in case i i am not sure whether my answer will be right or wrong what i do is i use my calculator so in this case five times eight will be what 40 40 times seven is what 280 so you can still check it if i'm not sure so this is my 40 five times eight, 40 times seven what is my answer 280 so i'll write it over here 280 plus 7 times 3 is 21 times 4 is what 84 7 times 7 times 7 so let's do this 7 to the power cube or 7 times 7 i'll just go 7 to the power cube sometimes we have to take shortcuts also 343 so i got over here 343 plus 2 times 8 is 6 2 times 4 is 8 8 times 8 is what 64 plus 5 times 3 15 15 times 5 is what 75 so let's let's go ahead and uh, so, uh, add the le left arms over here this is my 70 plus 280 plus 84 434 so this part gave me what 434 plus minus sign i need to add this part also see as i'm demonstrating you to you the usage of calculator you should do the same thing because you will avoid lots of mathematical error while you are computing simple addition and subtraction only 482 so this is yours what 482 so let's go ahead and solve this this means like this 434 minus 482 so let's see what is your answer So this is your 434 minus 
82 which gives me what negative 48 so my answer is what my answer is negative 48 for this problem so that's the answer for this question uh, just to reinforce the concepts let's do one one more question over here so what will be my first approach first approach will I will rewrite my first and second column 8 3 7 7 4 and 5 okay once I have done this what will be what I will do next is I will draw my two brackets over here put the minus sign in the middle so I will never make mistakes okay so let's proceed over here I'll start with the first I'm going diagonally 8 4 9 8 times 4 times 9 okay so this is my 8 times 4 times 9 plus sign 7 times negative 1 times 7 7 times negative 1 times 7 plus sign and the third one is 4 times 3 times 5 so 4 times 3 times 5 okay so I'm done with this part now I'll go to the start from the 4 the last one I have to go diagonally do keep in mind 4 times 4 times 7 plus sign then I have 8 times negative 1 times 5 8 times negative 1 times 5 plus sign and I will go with 7 times 3 times 9 7 times 3 times 9 and done and after this what is left just the mathematical calculations over here and that's it what I have to do all right so let's go ahead <coughs> do all of them one time 8 times 4 uh, 32 times 9 288 plus 7 times 7 49 this will be yours negative 49 so let me raise this and it will be my minus 49 over here plus 4 times 3 is 12 12 times 5 is what 60 4 times 4 is 16 then 16 times 7 so let's pull up our calculator because we are not sure 16 times 7 112 so 112 will go away 8 times 5 is 40 40 times negative 1 is negative 40 so it will be yours minus 40 over here plus okay 7 times 3 is 21 21 times 9 so if I'm not sure what I will do is I will use my calculator so this is yours 21 times 9 189 so I'll write it over here what 189 so let's solve the left hand side part using our calculator and then we go to the right one 288 minus 49 plus 60 299 is the answer for this part over here 299 minus sign and I will do the remaining one over here so this is yours 112 minus 40 plus 189 261 so I got over here what I got over here 261 so only thing what I have to do is I have to simplify this part so I can get my answer so 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 6 is 3 so 38 is my answer for this problem now this is a question you should do on your own and once you've got the answer check your answer with me or with other students in the class whether they have got the same answer or not this is for a self-check 